video, we're going to focus on self-service provisioning. A common complaint we hear is that it can take weeks for a developer to receive the application services they request. The problem is rooted in all the manual handoffs and the numerous systems that have to be touched from requesting the IP address, adding DNS entries, configuring load balancers, joining domains, setting up logging, monitoring, and backup, and so much more. It gets so bad that these consumers end up bypassing IT and leveraging public clouds. This introduces many problems for the organization's security, cost overruns, lack of visibility, and more. Let's take a look at how Morpheus addresses these challenges through self-service provisioning and automation. This is the main Morpheus operational dashboard. It's a clean graphical user interface that centralizes the majority of the operational tasks related to hybrid IT. Remember, everything you see me doing in this graphical user interface is also available via both API and command line interface. For provisioning, let's go to provisioning, instances, and then we're going to select add. For quick time to value, Morpheus ships with a few dozen common application services, but many enterprises use the embedded library builder to create catalog items mapped to their own applications and golden images. In this case, I'll pick Tomcat. You can see by the icons on the right that this particular item is available to be provisioned as a virtual machine or as a container. I'll select a group, which in turn provides me with a list of clouds that I'm entitled to. You can see a naming policy shown here. These can be loosely or strictly enforced. In this case, I have a few versions of Tomcat available based on the cloud I selected. This will go and lay down a Linux operating system and leverage our engine to build up Tomcat. I'll select a plan. These are synchronized nightly. You can see it will show me a cost of the application on this cloud, and if I click this dollar sign, it shows a comparison of similar sized options on other cloud providers that I've been entitled to. This form adjusts dynamically based on the selected cloud. For example, in AWS, if I select a different size that has other options, this will in turn adjust the cost estimates. Just below, you can see that there are a number of different areas that I can configure. User information, network information, other advanced options, metadata, and even define environment variables. I'm going to simply move on to the next step. The automation provides the opportunity to apply additional automation into other areas. This could be workflows from anything like running a script like Bash, PowerShell, JavaScript, and Python, for example, as well as integrations into configuration management tools like Ansible, Puppet, Chef, and Salt, including these scripts from your existing Git repositories if desired. These can be built into the layout itself, so it takes place with every provisioning request, or in this case, you can see them exposed as options that can be selected. Some items I'd like to highlight. The ability to deploy additional software, in addition to putting this behind a load balancer, or applying a scale factor like an AWS auto-scaling group. You also have a backup option. You can even require that backup gets set on every provision instance or to reduce risk. We support cloud-native backup technologies such as AWS Snapshots, or we have integration to other integration technologies like Zerto, Veeam, Rubrik, Convolved, and Avamar. Lastly, you can enforce lifecycle policies so that this instance might expire or automatically have a power schedule set. It's a great tool to help keep your cloud usage optimal. We're going to review the summary and click Complete. Very quickly, we can see that this instance is provisioning the resource in AWS. This provisioning flow would be the same if I was deploying to an on-premise private cloud such as VMware, vSphere, or Nutanix. Now you've seen an end-to-end -end process that normally takes many organizations weeks and has now been reduced to a matter of minutes. For more information, follow the link in the description.